All right, this is how to make a uh, Appalachian Trail alcohol stove. I keep my my whole kit in a, just a shipping tube, basically, is what this is, a cardboard shipping tube. But I've got my windscreen for the pot to go around the edge of the pot, basically. And I keep my pot stand in the stove itself and you can adjust that to pretty much whatever size pot you're using so it stands up on there and then of course you got your your alcohol stove made out of uh, one aluminum can and uh, no sharp edges it's press fit together it's a double wall construction you can see the, the wall on the inside of that um, so when you put your fuel in there and light it basically the heat pressurizes the double wall here and after it burns out of the center a little bit your jets start coming out of these holes here for the jets for the uh, stove so it's a really nice compact kit weighs less than than five ounces and um, I'll show you how, how I make mine all right get you a can wash it out with some nice hot soap and water Get your oven, set it for 350 or so, throw it in there for 15, 20 minutes, got yourself a clean sterile can. All right, after I get them out of the oven, I know they're clean. I don't know, I just like to break off the tabs. So I know these, are, these have been clean and whatnot. So um, after that, basically I, I cut out the top. Get yourself a, a blade of some type, just go around it and score this thing the top right right in here right in there just go around and just score it it'll get deeper and deeper until eventually you'll break through you'll feel it it'll kind of start to bind up because you've cut through the thing and uh just go around till till the top comes off Alright, you got your top off basically. Now this is a can made by a Pepsi bottling company. Um, and the, the height is just a little bit different than their competitors, Coca-Cola. So you might have to tweak it a little bit. I think Coke is just a little shorter. So you're going to have to cut it just a little bit shorter than uh, this uh, Pepsi type product. Um, and to cut it, you cut it from the bottom to here at uh, 30, just short of 36 millimeters. So what I've done is I've got a, a Dremel tool with a little cutoff wheel here that I set right at, you know, just short of 36 millimeters. And you're gonna cut it here, 36 millimeters. And then I flip it over, I don't cut all the way through. I leave little tabs on there. And then you'll cut here, 36 millimeters. And then you have the center piece that goes inside the can. So I'll show you how that's done next.
Then there's uh, <clears throat> a little bit of excess material you don't need on the inside of the can. I cut a little bit of it away. Not that much or so. Alright, you got your three pieces. Um, there's your base. This guy will be rolled up inside and we'll go right into the groove there in the bottom. And then the top part will go right under the lip of the top where you cut it out there. And that'll all line up and you'll basically get a, a double wall construction. Um, you know, go like this. I like the to be able to see the inside design of the can just because it kind of looks cool. So what I do is I I reform this also known as bending and be careful some of the edges might be a little sharp. You might want to you know, just scrape them down or something to get rid of any of the sharp edges. Um, but what I like to do is, instead of curling it that way, I like to curl it to the inside. Alright, you got your three pieces. This one's now turned inside out. So you can see the design on the inside. Um, now we got to get this one inside of the bottom part. Um, and you do that. That's how I do it. I bend it in like this. And that shrinks it. It makes it smaller. And I'll go around. And I'll give it a little bend. Just go all the way around it. And bend it. And that'll make it small enough to get inside the base. Alright. We've crimped this all the way down around. The whole top part. And it, it brings the metal together. Makes it smaller. And then you want to go and take your center section here and set it right down in that groove where they, uh, they've crimped the top down to the rest of the can and it usually holds it in place also um, you can see in there right in that groove then you take your base and that should fit right down in the bottom groove there it'll guide it right in there usually slides right in and then you just kind of tap it down until everybody lines up sounds pretty solid right now and everybody's lined up inside there the center sections in there right to the bottom and then the top section is right up under this this lip here and you've got your your double wall construction now when uh, you put the fuel in there and it heats up it heats up the vapors in this double wall section it pressurizes it and it'll come out through the jets on the side and we'll, we'll put those in next alright the jets I guess you could uh, use a little drill bit or something but I just use the, the, the tip of the knife and put them, about 10 of them I guess it is, just evenly space them out there. And go all the way around. Not too big. There you got your your jets in there. All right, let's like this uh, Appalachian Trail alcohol stove. The alcohol you use use denatured alcohol. It's uh, basically ethanol. Um, 
you know, they add a little methanol to it to make it poisonous so you can't drink it. The government doesn't want to sell you drinking alcohol, you know, without getting their cut uh, in taxes. But you pour the uh, denatured alcohol right, right inside the big area there. The, and uh, be careful. Uh, in bright sunlight, you can't hardly see the flames burning on this thing. I carry a... Uh, uh, ferrocidium flint striker rod in my kit uh, but I'll just use a, a lighter for now uh, you can't really see the flames in bright sunlight it's nice clean burning denatured alcohol produces and I don't know if you can see that on the camera I'll turn 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 the lights down a bit the denatured alcohol produces carbon dioxide and water vapor when it burns so it's, it's very, fairly environmentally friendly. Once, once it starts heating up, the double wall construction there will heat up the, the denatured alcohol vapors in there and, and force it out the jets. And I, hopefully you can see that on camera. It's starting to come out pretty good these jets these flames starting to go pretty good yeah I hear people talk about they remove all the paint from the cans they don't want to make harmful fumes but the ink used in printing these cans is FDA approved I believe it's a soybean based product you never hear people talk about them removing the inner linings to these cans. All food grade aluminum containers are sprayed with an epoxy plastic liner so the, the aluminum taste doesn't leach into the food product. I don't know what chemicals you'd use to get a plastic lining out, but don't necessarily want any part of that either. I also hear people talk about Oh, you use galvanized steel wire mesh. And basically when welders, when they get the steel heated up to welding temperature, weld galvanized steel, it produces zinc oxide, which is the stuff used by lifeguards, you know, the white stuff on their nose to prevent sun sunburn. Um, it's, it's not toxic. Do these stoves get hot enough to produce a... Zinc oxide vapor? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, yeah, use some common sense when you first light these things up. They might produce some some burn off from the the ink and whatnot. So use it in a well ventilated area, and I'll I'll put this stove pot on there. I right, said so hopefully you can see these these flames. And yeah, hope you enjoyed watching this video. You can buy the wire mesh at Lowe's, a whole roll, $15, $20. You can get some aluminum flashing for $15, $20. Try and cut that out to size. I've actually got several kits already made. If you want, I'll, I'll, I'll sell you kits off my, my eBay storefront. I'll try to figure out how to put a link to my eBay storefront there. On this video and go buy a whole kit it'll come with the the pot holder the stove and the windscreen all in its shipping container the whole thing weighs less than five ounces um, and yeah I'll sell you the whole kit for $9.95 and it is starting to boil there I hope you enjoyed watching this this YouTube video on how to make uh, Appalachian Trail alcohol stoves.